So Dr. Scholz, in the grand scheme of prostate cancer treatments, is chemotherapy the last resort? So chemotherapy, we're talking with prostate, um, taxotere, geftana, occasionally something called carboplatin. These medicines um, are very effective and they have been pushed um, down the line due to the advent of new, perhaps we could describe better treatments, um, oral medicines, powerful second generation hormone treatments, injectable radiation treatments like Sofigo. And the um, fact that chemotherapy has to be given by an intravenous infusion every three weeks, it can cause some hair loss, cause some fatigue, and um, so, and it requires doctor visits. So when you can just prescribe a pill, uh, the chemotherapy tends to be um, postponed. And uh, I suppose that's reasonable. Uh, it doesn't mean that the chemotherapy isn't any less effective. It's still very effective, and uh, we're very grateful that we have that there as a backup. There is one exception, and that is in men that are newly diagnosed with what we call high-risk prostate cancer. And uh, these men may have been a little neglectful when they were diagnosed, and perhaps the PSA is 20 or 30 or 40, and um, they have a high Gleason score. Maybe there's even some spread to the lymph nodes or the seminal vesicles. And hormone therapy alone, uh, hormone therapy plus radiation alone, will cure a good number of them. But there's some studies now showing that if you add four to six cycles of chemotherapy to that regimen, that the cure rates and the survival will be better. And so chemotherapy is also used at the get-go in the early stages of prostate cancer in men that have more high-risk prostate cancer. When you are in your practice on a daily basis, are you giving men early taxotere or Jeftana in these high-risk cases? Yes, we do. It's, um, it's something that comes up for discussion. Now, uh, if someone's 75 or 80 years old and uh, we know that they're going to respond well to second generation hormonal agents and radiation, we may forego it. But in a younger man that uh, we're concerned about their long-term survival, uh, we will definitely discuss the use of uh, early taxotere or early Jeftana. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like more information on any of the topics we discussed today, you can visit our website at pcri.org and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This uh, will keep you updated on everything that comes up in prostate cancer.